Download the necessary files. You can find them on raceflight.net slash Tyrannus. The first file you're going to need is Companion TX for the Tyrannus. This is a different file for Windows or Mac, but the installation procedure is very similar. Install the file. On Mac, you just drag it into the applications. PC is slightly different. I'm going to go ahead and replace. It's now installed. So you can start it up. You're going to click on the Settings tab here. You're going to click on the Application Settings. You're going to make sure that all of these are checked. Actually, you only need to make sure the Firmware Nightly Builds is checked and Use Companion Nightly Builds is checked, but I just enable them all. Click OK. Now you're set up. Click on the Download Firmware button here. You can click on Check for Updates. You're going to click Download Firmware. You're going to save it to, I save it to the desktop. You can save it wherever you're comfortable with. And OK. <coughs> Turn on the Tranus. So you plug in the Tranus, USB cable to the back of the Tranus, but do not plug it into the computer yet. Then you hold down the two switches here in while powering it on. This puts it into bootloader mode. Now you can plug it into the computer. Once you do that, it enables the USB connected mode. You have to do it in that order or it will not work. Once it is connected, wait for the uh, computer to see it. First it will come up as Tyrannus, and then here's your SD card. You're going to delete all the contents on the card. Make sure you back up anything you want to save. Once you do that, you can open up the new card contents. And you're going to place them onto your Tyrannus' SD card. The next step is to update the firmware on the Tyrannus itself. To do that, you click this button here. You select the uh, file that you downloaded earlier, which is already selected here. And you click Write to TX. Firmware will be written to the radio. Firm flashing is done. And your radio has been updated. Now let's go ahead and put the script where it belongs onto the Tranus SD card. So you can open up the SD card again here. Go to Scripts, Telemetry, and you can add in rf.lua here. That's it. Tyrannus should now work. Let's take a look. You disconnect the USB from the computer. You go to Exit, hit Enter. Welcome It'll start up. Tyrannus is now updated. So to access the script, you go into your menu. Hold page to go back to your scripts, your telemetry screen. Go down to screen one. You're going to select it as script. It's already selected here, but I'll just show you here. You're going to click here, click on RF. The script is now active. To access it, you hold the page button. And that is it. The Tyrannus receiver is currently hooked up to the TX1 pin here. The S port coming off of it is hooked up to the RX3 pin here. The smart audio cable, which is this one here, is hooked up to the TX3 pin right here. Once that's done and your quad is set up and flying, we can now enable it in the configurator. Go to the configuration page on the configurator. First, we're going to enable S port. To do that, you go to the telemetry section here, enable this switch, 
Here, this will enable S-Port. Enable the Smart Audio Telemetry. We have it hooked up to TX pin 3, so we're going to select USART 3 TX. Then we hit Save, and it now works. To activate the Lua script, you hold down on the Page button. Once it is active, you can enable the script by entering Program Mode by pushing both sticks to the bottom center, as such. The first menu that will come up is the VTX menu. Here you can change your band, channel, and power for your VTX. To change something, you move the cursor up and down with the pitch stick. You select something by moving it to the right, which will change the cursor to an asterisk, which lets you know you can change it, and you move the value up and down. It's band A, band B, so whichever band you want. Let's go ahead and do race band. Exit. And you go down to save and exit. And this will set your VTX. This will exit program mode. So if you want to make another change, you have to enter program mode again. Back on the VTX page. Let's say we want to modify our PIDs. Let's move up to VTX, our menu selection. <coughs> Let's say I want to adjust my KP on yaw a little bit. I move to the yaw menu for PID adjustment. I move down to KP. I select the value. And I change the value up and down as required. Exit out, and I can now save. To exit program mode, I move to the last menu. I go down to exit program mode, and I exit program mode. Quad is now ready to fly. You can exit the script just by hitting the exit button.